Adipose tissue makes a number of hormones. One of the hormones made by adipose is the hormone leptin. Leptin is essential for reproductive physiology. It helps to control the onset of puberty and it uh, has roles in the immune system being pro-inflammatory and helping the maturation of T cells. Uh, it reduces bone. It is involved in stress hormones. So it is essential and the loss of leptin results in infertility and depressed immune function. One of the most important roles of leptin is as the hormone which adipose uses to communicate with the hypothalamus in the brain. Leptin travels to the brain and as a result the hypothalamus can measure how much adipose is present in the body. As a result, it serves as a lipostat telling the hypothalamus when we have eaten enough and when we should be satiated as opposed to being hungry. In weight gain, however, additional adipose results in increased leptin secretion, and this can result in a number of abnormalities. First, in obesity, although leptin should decrease appetite, cells become resistant to leptin, and thus higher than normal leptin levels uh, can contribute to a number of cancers, such as breast cancer, heart disease, reproductive problems, asthma, and a number of other inflammatory disorders. Because of the negative consequences of excess leptin, those phenomena which increase leptin levels, such as high glucose, uh, insulin, uh, stress hormones, the glucocorticoids, all of these are potential risk factors for a number of disorders. It has even been observed that individuals whose mothers underwent famine while they were pregnant uh, will then have permanent changes to their leptin expression later in life.